All right, guys. We are just going to get started with this dog. Sorry, guys. All right, guys. We're just going to get started with this dog. Um, they scheduled online, said it was matted. They were definitely right. Um, this coat's at least six inches long, matting all through the dog, ears, face, legs, armpits, everywhere. So we're just gonna get started. That's not even the right blade. I'm gonna use a seven blade to begin with. You're okay. this stuff out of the way. You're okay. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. You're okay. This is my last dog for the day. I was thinking it was going to be a big dog with undercoat removal. And that would be a little dog that was mad at. Never done this dog before. I had a lot of new clients. Because I'm one of the quickest grooming shops to get into. I'm only about a week. We can have scheduled out. A lot of grooming shops are a month or more. Because I am a newer grooming shop. I've only been here it'll be two years in September and I started from scratch. Easy, easy easy, you're okay you're okay You're okay. I know you can't see, huh? Yeah, they called here about 15 minutes early, which is fine. I didn't have any dogs. Um, I was just like, it's gonna have to be short. And she said, I know. Okay. I like when people know what they're doing. You know, hey, 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 you're okay. It's okay. When they're scheduling and stuff, she scheduled extra time for the matting. Because with matting, you have to shave the dog before you give them a bath. If you do a bath when they're matted, before you cut it off, it will make the mats tighter. It will make it harder to get the mats off. Pretty big mats on the tail here. A 
we will be shaving everything on this dog. Do you guys like when I talk, or do you like to just listen to the clippers and stuff? I'm sure it's 50-50. Stand up. She knew my name, the owner did, which means she's probably watched my YouTube videos. You're okay. Y'all are new here. That is my daughter in the background. She comes to work with me every day. You're okay. These ears are completely matted. You can see that mat right there. Um, I'm going to change my blade because this blade's getting hot. I'm going to try to do the inside of this leg if he'll let me. No, 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 buddy, come on. You're okay. See if he'll let me lift him up. Pull this up so I can see what's going on down here. So guys, when we have severe matting like this, I do charge extra um, because it does take quite a bit more time and you have to be super careful not to cut the skin and stuff. It's just time consuming. So I do charge extra, usually anywhere between five and $30. $30 is the most that I will ever charge unless it's like severe severe then that's a different story but i've never had any severe severe here um, i did have one at my old work 
my old business um, that was so severe I had to use a 15 and 30 blade and yeah so guys you have to charge what you are worth you know what your time is worth um, I don't charge people just to be charging them you know I know everybody especially right now is struggling easy 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 you're okay is struggling with you know the virus and stuff financially so I feel bad for charging people like I don't want to but then I know if I don't charge people what I should, um, then you create a problem. And everybody wants help, and everybody wants a discount, and I can't afford that. I can't afford to give everyone a discount. So this dog here, depending on weight, um, pretty close to being right on the border. So if he's under 15 pounds he'll be 50 he would normally be 50 dollars if he is um you know 15 to 30 pounds he's 55. but i'm gonna charge at least an extra 20. um because this dog, it's pretty bad matting around sensitive parts and it just takes a lot more time and care not to cut him, you know, to make sure that I don't cut him. Hey, 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 easy. And I may have to use a 10 blade. Let's see. You don't want to pull into it because you could get skin caught. I want to know where the edge of the ear is at all times so you're not getting the ear stuck in your blade. I am going to get a 10 blade to do the ears in a minute. I'm just going to get off what I can with this blade real quick. I think my daughter fell asleep. Easy. Okay, just a minute. We woke back up. <laughs> just a minute, okay?
I gotta have your turn, boy. So when you shave matted ears um, and the dog keeps shaking its head, they can get what is called hematomas. You need to put a happy hoodie on them, which I'll show you guys what it is in a minute, or you need to wrap their ears. You got to do something to stop them to shake. Um, I've had a dog get hematomas. I put the happy hoodie on them and it went away before the owners got here. But I just told the owners, I was like, hey, you know, if she keeps shaking, you need to wrap them up with something. Because her ears down here at this, where this matting is on this dog too, once you shave this off, it um, not only frees the skin, but when a dog has matting, it constricts blood flow. And when you shave that off, all that blood goes rushing back to the ears and when they shake it literally pushes the blood out of their ears and it literally seeps through the skin it will seep through the skin So I'm just gonna. No, 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 no. You're okay. Go under here. See if I can get a spot started. You're okay, boy. Good boy. Good boy. This is really matted in here, so I am going to keep using a 10 instead of a 7 just to get this matting off. I know some of you are all like, well, why aren't you shaving the face? Get that stuff away from its eyes. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash it first. Um, when you try and cut out, you know, all this stuff that's just crusted in there, you have a higher chance of cutting, getting the skin caught and cutting, and cutting the skin. Easy, easy, you're okay, easy. Buddy, you've got to raise your head up. Gotta get that, there's some matting right here. You're okay. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. Okay, I'll be quit. You're okay. I know what you're talking to. Quit. She's got her tablet. She's talking to her tablet. Not me or the dog. Alright. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is crazy. All right.
still using the tin blade. Um, come on, give me your foot. You're okay. Good boy. You're okay. Kelby? Then quit doing that. I really honestly truly believe that dogs know when you're helping them. Um, I've had some owners that are like, yeah, he, he bites, he does this, he does that. And they come in and they're just fine on the table. It's kind of like the concept of kids and parents though. Like your kids may act up with you because you, they know that you're a safe person and that um, you know, you'll love them regardless of how they act, but if they go to someone else and they're not really sure, you know, about that person, then they're probably not going to act up. It's kind of the same concept with dogs. Get a 15 blade to do those feet. I mean, a 30 blade. You're okay. My clippers are about to die. Yeah, they're getting ready to die. But guys, they... For rechargeable, they go, go, go until they just die. Easy. You're okay. Yep. So I just take it out, put this back in, put that in there, put this one in here. See the difference? Sound different. They don't die very often, but sometimes I forget to put them back on the charger, and that's what happened is I forgot to put them on the back on the charger. I 
All right, I'm not gonna trim the nails, but what I am going to do is take the scissors and just trim. around the feet. today because I've had a busy day what? turn because I have had a busy day oh. it's going to trim trim this It's really dangerous to go in there when this when the, the stuff is this dirty and this matted with the clippers until you clean it a little bit and get some of that that junk out. Guys, one tip, if you're shaving the face, save this part right here on the beard. Um, it allows you to hold the face without them moving everywhere. Just gonna trim this up a little bit. Okay. Gonna trim this up a little bit. Okay. And then when we go in, we'll be able to see all this down in here. We'll be able to get all that out. Let's look at the ears. The ears, surprisingly, are not that bad. All right, let's go get him in the bath. Do you feel better, mister? I bet you do. I bet you do. I know I would feel better. You're okay, buddy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this nastiness on his face wet. And he's not gonna like it for a minute, but it's gotta be done to get all that loosened up, okay? Then we can wash him. He's got some skin particles and that's just from having matting. Just gonna use this comb and just rub him down with it. See those just to get those skin particles off. Easy. Hey, hey, hey. You're okay. He may not let me get this stuff out. It really needs to come out, though. I know one thing. It stinks. See this big old chunk? 
I just need to get by his eye and the rest is okay. Just loosen it up so I can get in there with the clippers. Because if you don't, it will actually cut the skin. Okay. getting a lot of it out you just really really want to scrub in there come here buddy 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 you're okay let's get all this out good boy I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this big chunk out of here. Just trying to get a little bit of fur out at a time. Easy, 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 easy. Trying to get that to loosen up guys and that's just it's just dirt and tear or you know eye discharge and tears buddy hey hey you're okay I got to do that way so I don't get it in your eyes I mean in your nose you're okay there we go I got that loosened up. We don't have to get it all out, but you want it really loosened up. So underneath that skin that's been matted up and irritated, we'll get, sorry buddy, we'll get clean. Okay, I'm just gonna get it wet one more time. I'm going to take some of this tearless um, facial cleanser and just work it in there. Just get all that. Because guys, that it stinks. Um, you got to get it clean. Okay. Now we'll switch it. Durant's, I mean, look at all that stuff we got out. Man, until I found this, this, this is a four inch face comb. Until I found this face comb, man, I could not get that out because the teeth are so fine on it that it works. It's amazing. Oh, I forgot to do his anal glands. No, well, I'm not getting anything. Come here, buddy. I still gotta wash it to make sure there's no yuckies. Look at those nails, guys. Those are long. I gotta get all the soap out. All right, he's rinsed and clean. Dry him off. He's short, don't have to use a high velocity dryer on him. Okay, dry his feet. Put 
put him in the cage dryer. And when he's all dry. Whoa, easy. Yeah, your nails are getting stuck. Easy, easy. We will get him all dry and get him finished. All right, so I'm gonna try to be quiet because my daughter's sleeping. And if I can get this dog done while she's sleeping, then I can wake her up and we can go home. Cause it's five o'clock.
Easy. Change blade, it's hot. Okay. You're touchy. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. He does not want me by his face. And I can't risk cutting his tongue, so I'm gonna have to trim that with scissors. No, no, no. Boy, you gotta come over here. Pulling. I can tell you right now, he's not going to like that ear hair, probably, coming out.
So usually, if a dog doesn't like the clippers by their mouth, they're usually okay with scissors. And it's not going to look perfect, but it would look better than not doing it at all. Easy. These nails are extremely long. I'm just gonna cut them shorter and then actually trim them. You hear them, buddy? They're loud. Easy. You're okay, buddy. Now you'll be able to walk. That'll be so nice. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Being a lot better about this than I thought you would be. Where? Let me see. I didn't get you. You're okay. Hi. Come on. No, no, no. Mm, I did get a little bit. Sorry, buddy. I know some of y'all are like, wow, how are you cutting all the way up there and not cutting the quick? I can see where it starts. 
But the reason I do it quick and pull away is because if I do, if I do hit it, ha ha. If I do hit it and they try to bite, then I don't get bit. There's some matting in there. No. Uh-uh. He's getting a muzzle. He mouthed me. I'm not I'm not gonna play that guys. He's my last dog. I am not gonna get bit. See if this little bitty muzzle works. This is one of the best investments that I made. Are the muzzles. No. I didn't get that one either. He just doesn't like it. All right, hey, hey, you're fine. We're done with that. So now what I'm gonna do is just trim up his feet and then do his ears and he'll be done. Do need the slicker brush because we're gonna have to brush this up. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna turn him and do this one. No, no. Now, if he didn't mind his feet nails being done, I would dremel them, but he doesn't like them done, so I'm not going to do that. Muzzle him for this um, 
for the ears. There's quite a bit in there. This bottle's almost empty. You always want to make sure you have enough in there. It's better to put too much than not enough. Yep. Hey, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. No, no, no. All right, so this guy is all done. Stop, buddy. All done. Get him a bandana. And he's all done. his mama know that he's ready take an after picture real quick